All right, good afternoon, good morning, good evening, uh, good night, whenever and whenever, whenever and wherever you may be watching this. So, about a week or so ago, I put up a video of a store, and the title was, The Food Shortage Hit This Store Really Hard. So, we're going back into that store today and see what it looks like. So, stay tuned. Plant-based homestead prepper, where we make prepping fun. All right, so here we go, walking in, and here is the store, Farm Fresh. All right, so we're gonna see what it looks like on the inside. All right, so here we go, we're walking in. Okay, it looks way better today than it did last week or whenever I was in here. It still is okay. We still got some open spaces, but I think it's a little bit better than it was. Is this kale? Yeah, it is kale. Wow. Okay, they got kale. Yes. All right, a few little open spaces, but nothing like it was before. <clears throat> That's another little space right there. Okay, okay. So, here we go. Good morning, how are you? I'm good, thank you for asking. Hey guys, it's Jennifer from Heartspeak Warriors Forum. I hope you're enjoying all of the edutainment that you're getting right here on Plant Based Homestead Pepper with my honey, Roger Chappelle. When you're done, pop over to my channel where we'll be discussing the extraordinary stories of ordinary people. For now, cue the intro. I'm always very, very cordial when I go into these places because I don't want anybody putting me out. All right, now let's go over here to this area because you're always gonna have plenty of this. Mm -hmm. It's looking kind of, looking kind of bare. Got some open spaces, a whole bunch of open spaces. I guess over here they drink a lot. Open spaces. Okay, cool. But every store I go into, always have plenty of alcohol. And there's the, there's the beer cooler. As you can tell, there's plenty in there. So, all right. Hi. I'm Christina, and you are watching Plant-Based Homestead Prepper. Subscribe, subscribe, subscribe. All right, now, of course, they killed a whole bunch of turkeys, and they're ready for Thanksgiving. Let's check out this here bacon. Ooh, bacon is expensive. Wow. Okay, first of all, it's only one little pack up here, and for 16 ounces, that's $6.15. These prices are unheard of, ungodly expensive. They're 16 ounces, but good gracious. Do y'all see this? That is like crazy hot. Hope everybody's all right over there. That was loud. I mean, good night. Why it's so expensive? Well, because we're going through a crisis right now. Okay, so there you have it. So, Grim, there's your bacon. Good lord, this one is nine dollars. That's 24 ounces, nine, that's uh, 10 bucks. But look at here, there's not a lot of selection in here for lunch and meat. And I mean, look at all the open spaces. What are hot dogs right in? We don't eat hot dogs anymore. They seem to be, from what I remember, about the same problem. We used to eat Nathan's and Hebrew Nationals. So that seems to be about right. But oh my God, that bacon price is like off the chain. If you haven't subscribed to Plant Based Homestead Prepper yet, please do that now. After the video, come on by Grim Survival, where I will show you the grim side of survival, including actual footage of how bad the harvest season has been this year. Look at this cooler, y'all. Absolutely nothing in there. Yes, this was a lobster tank. Look at the ground beef selection. Y'all tell me what that looks like. Okay. And look at this. 
Here's the pork section and the chicken section. Wow. I'm not even gonna walk down there because it's crazy. I'm looking for the canned goods. I wanna see what Progresso is, because if they got there it's Progresso. Four for five, which is a dollar twenty-five cents a can. Okay. <clears throat> I really, really, really want to pay 99 cents. And I'm going to tell you, I tried this for the first time last week. Absolutely delish. It was so good, I had to read the back of the uh, package again. The can, because I was like, this can't be vegetarian. And it was. It's vegetarian. You see it right there, vegetarian. But it was so darn good, I thought it had pork in it. I'm not even going to lie to you. So, here's the can good out. Here's the can good out. I really wanted to see if they had any um, any uh, coconut water, but I didn't see any. Let's check the bread out. Look down there, over shells. The bread out, y'all. And Grim had a good point on one of his videos. He said, "Look at the package." And see how big it is compared to the price. 20 ounces. I've never really looked at a bread package, to be honest with you. <clears throat> but $3.50 seems like it's very expensive. One of the bread is $2.89. Then you can get it at Dollar Tree for a dollar. Well, that's another place. Alright, condiments. So. And this is the store. They're like, oh, look at the Maxwell House. $6 for a huge can like that. Now, who was telling me something about a 72 date can, uh, candle? So, apparently, you can buy one of these. I'm going to try this. You can buy one of these, and then you can stick a wick off in it, and it will last like 72 days. So, we're going to make one of these. All right? Now, I don't know exactly how, but I guess you can either melt it, and stick a wick in there or you can look at the sugar and look at the rice <laughs> now this is kind of an Asian store I would expect to see way more rice than this and I don't see any white rice just like last week when I was here I couldn't find any white rice I'm gonna see if they have any candles those long candles so I can get the wick out all right so pretty good on tomato tomato uh, substance spaghetti sauces spaghetti noodles the noodle aisle let's check the prices dollar fifty nine that's it that's up those used to be like 99 cents uh, that brand over there it used to be like a dollar ten so yeah prices are up prices are up everybody so keep that in mind as you're stocking up. Okay, let's go down the can good aisle. Let's see. Check it out. And yeah, okay, 69 cents a can. That's not bad. It's not bad at all, actually. So they're gonna be selling a bunch of these leading up to Thanksgiving, the yams. Here's some bushes. Oh, they got bushes on sale for a dollar a can. All right. Cool. So I was looking for, um, look at this, y'all. I mean, that's, they need to change their shelves. It's like, it is so many open spaces. That's one. And then look behind me. Open, open, open spaces, empty shelves. <clears throat> y'all want to see the chicken? Let's walk over here and look at that. Cluck, cluck. Oh. What is this? Carolina fried. So they got some bacon over here. Okay. 12, ounce, 12 ounces for $5.05. And they have some chicken. I'm going to actually turn the camera around so y'all can see it. This is crazy. So here's the pork section. 
And here's the chicken. You got one, two, three, four, five, six hens. One pack. Okay, several checks, packs of chicken legs. What's the prices? Good lord. $9.28? That's for chicken wings. That is ridiculous. So, well, I don't know. I hadn't bought I hadn't bought chicken wings in so long. I don't know if that's a good price or a bad price. But it's $3.49 a pound. Okay. Uh, like chicken breast. Two oh seven a pound. Wow. Okay, there you have it. Have dairy, eggs. Of course, the poison aisle is gonna be packed. I can tell you that straight up. Look at the water. Look at the poison. Poison stocked, fully stocked. I don't see an open space anywhere. One, one little open space on the poison aisle. The eggs look pretty good. Uh. Prep alert. <clears throat> Prep alert. Trash bags are going to be so valuable um, when and if something happens. I thought I might find some candles down here, but nope. There's some Dawn. That's a huge bottle of Dawn. Which was supposed to have been going through a shortage, but every store I go into, I see plenty of, uh, plenty of, plenty of Dawn. All right, let's see if they have anything that Roderick eats over here in the freezer section. I doubt it. Oh yeah, look at these, look at this selection. They could really pack this stuff like into one case. Oh, here's the morning stars, look at here, all right. Okay, 429, 429. That's not bad, I mean, it seems to be a little more expensive, but it's about the same price. You're gonna pay about four dollars for them anyway. All right, let's see if we can find us a camel and get out of here, y'all. Hope you. Hey guys, I wanted to take the opportunity to show some gratitude and to send some love to you guys and our part, our two partners. Okay, so I'm gonna mention I'm mention a few people, but these are folks that have partnered with us and have actually sent items okay so six acres love you thank you she was our first two partners grim survival of course you know i love you brother off grid desert farm with paul and asia absolutely love them heart speaks warrior forum that's jennifer's channel and you guys know that's that's my baby right there uh homestead hopeful tara thank you so much she's a brand new channel and you guys go check her out. And then, of course, last but certainly not least, my friend, Christina, at Christina. You guys go check, check out her channel as well. Now, a couple, um, couple of family members I want to mention. And I'm going to be doing an unboxing for this guy on what he sent me the other day. Okay. Knife Collector, thank you so much. And then Queenie, thank you so much for your, uh, for your gift as well. So I just want to take the opportunity to just come in and just say thank you guys. I appreciate you. And keep watching the extremely long video now. I truly, sincerely hope you have enjoyed this. Oh, wow. Huge open space right here. Look at it. But, you know, this store seems to be the norm, okay? You see all the empty shelves. And that's just one side. I'm going to... As I pass by, I'm gonna turn the camera around. I'll walk the other direction. But I walk down here so you guys can see the milk. That's the milk selection. Literally, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18. 18 gallons. Uh, and this is skim milk. They don't even have any whole milk in here. So that shelf is completely empty. There's no whole milk at all so oh I told you guys I'm going to show you here this is the ice cream section I hardly ever pay attention to that it's not something that I eat so I apologize if that's something that you wanted to see let's see if we can't find us a candle I mean, looks like I'm about to go ask somebody Oh, look at the Pepsi aisle. I mean, this stuff 
It's just, it's bare in here, that's all. I mean, it, I guess this is just the norm for this store. Axis 559, okay. That seems to be kind of pricey. Prep alert, prep alert, prep alert, but not for this price. Good gracious. So prep alert, but you can get it for a Dollar Tree for like 60 cents, I think. Um, anyway, let me ask these folks. <clears throat> they have a candle. Hi. Hi. Good. What can I find? A candle? What Candles? Candles? Uh-huh. Um, the only ones they have like right on 13, like the glade candles. Okay. Like you don't have like the tall ones? No. We have like the these, but they're like the outside kind of candles. Okay. Like the patio candles and then just like the small little like Oh, yeah. I see what you're Okay. We got tea. Okay. Thank you. You're All right. So they got the tea light candles here. I just bought some of these the other day at Walmart. I got a hundred of them for like four bucks. And here they are $4.69 for 50. Oh, here's a torch wick. I wonder what this work on that thing I'm trying to start. I don't know. That just seems like that's really too big. So I'm going to leave that. Oh, let's see how much it was. Am I willing to take that risk? <laughs> Alright, so no, I'm not willing to take that risk. I'll go somewhere else and get me a candle. You know, one, one prep that we don't have because we don't drink it is coffee. I, we don't drink coffee, so I don't, I don't prep coffee that much. Well, I don't prep coffee at all. But I'm thinking about starting, but I don't really know how long coffee is going to last. I guess if I vacuum seal it, <clears throat> it would last a lot longer than it would normally. I'm just kind of thinking out loud. What you guys think? Now, what do y'all think about this scruffiness I got going on? It makes me like a mountain man. And it, and it adds like 10, 15 pounds to my face. Or maybe I'm just bigger now. I don't know. So anyway, we're going to get out of here. And we'll give you guys an honest assessment on the outside. Empty spaces, open shelves. Okay, folks. So my honest assessment of this store... Just like the last time I was in here is, you, you, you get a one star just for having your doors open. You get, you get two stars for having anything on the shelves because they have friendly people and because they, they let me um, film them without you know, bothering me. Two and a half stars, that's all I can give them. That's, that's, the, that's the most I can give this store. But I will say this, they had some great looking uh, fresh produce today, okay? And it seemed to be the fresh produce was more stocked than it was the last time. So, okay, I'll bump them up a half a star. They get three stars today. Because the doors are open, they got friendly staff, they got things on the shelves, and they had a pretty good selection of, of fresh fruits and veggies. How about that? So, three stars today. Thank you guys for watching. And make sure you watch the next video, Catered. I keep saying catered. Oh my goodness. I always think about food. Tailored just for you. Take care.